An $89 million investment could be coming to downtown Macon. It's expected to give an aging strip of Poplar Street a major facelift. Ashlyn Webb has more on the proposal. There's been ideas kicked around for the past five years on what this strip of downtown Macon could be. All of those ideas relating to developing a hotel. But now developers have a bigger picture of what this could be. Teaming up to make this a hub to live, shop and play. I think that's a great opportunity for downtown. I think it's going to bring a lot of new people. Build up businesses, build brands, and just bring the city of Macon back together as a whole again. I, I think it's all worth it. Developers are asking Macon Bibbs Planning and Zoning to approve a massive project. We see this as a, an opportunity uh, for this downtown core to really create this activated community space. Bring a new boutique hotel, apartments, entertainment, and more. Naomi Mursky, Chief Development Officer of Optera Capital, says the hotel facing the front of Poplar will be the plaza of the project, holding 152 rooms. So uh, it will be a national branded hotel, um, but it will be a lifestyle boutique. Behind the hotel, they're considering including a public entertainment alley. Food and beverage outlets, to have art installations, to have outdoor live music, um, and really create this you know, this downtown center and really make it walkable. Adding to the list, Mursky says they're also looking to put a nationally branded coffee shop and also a gym into the complex. Then they want to build a 230 unit apartment complex on the corner of Plum and 2nd Streets. The plan is to create a U shape where more amenities can fit into the center of the complex. We want it to be welcoming. We want it to be warm. We want it to be inviting. Mursky says they're also proposing renovating the historic Newman building. That'll connect the hotel with a pedestrian bridge. Ground floor will likely be a restaurant space. The upper floors, we are, are looking at that as meeting space, event space. Some items relating to the project are expected to be back on planning and zoning's agenda in the next two weeks. And of course, we'll be bringing you guys updates on the developments. Reporting in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Amazing News. Planning and zoning asked the developers to come back April 25th to talk about additional ideas on parking options for that complex.